Hi, I'm going to teach you how to master the laptop schematic reading. So let's get started. Let's begin with the circuit. This is the first circuit that we gonna discuss. The circuit that is responsible to generate the plus 3 volts for the laptop motherboard. To generate this plus 3 volt, we will need many components. Okay, this is basically standard for all motherboards. So, as you can see here, we have the controller IC, as you can see. The first component is the controller IC. So, its reference in the motherboard is PU7. For ICs, you can find PU or U. And here, this is its part number. Okay. For example, if you have a bad IC like this, you should replace it with another IC with the same part number. So, then we're going to need an inductor. Basically, we don't have here MOSFETs because this is just a small circuit. So, we have inductor and chemical capacitor, as you can see. So, always the inductor and chemical capacitors are used for filtering purposes. The inductor also is used to increase the current in the circuit. So, we have an inductor. PL9 and here this is chemical capacitor to make the signal or the voltage a filtered voltage we have PC107 and we have other ceramic capacitors this is basically ceramic capacitors those capacitors are not polarized capacitors so this is the value as you can see for this chemical capacitor we have 150 this U means microfarads, okay? And we have 6.3 volts. And here, as you can see, this is the PGP means the pad. Here, basically, we use this as a test point. So, if you go to the motherboard, you will find many pads like this. This is basically a test point where you can check whether you have 3 volts or not. So, in order to get these 3 volts, we need some inputs because the 3 volt here is the output, is the last signal that we will get, okay, or the final signal. But first, normally we should get many inputs, especially this IC should get many inputs in order to be able to generate the 3 volt. So, the first input is the VN, the working power for this IC, as you can see. So, we get basically, this is basically the VN. The VN basically is about 19 volts. You can find some motherboards with 20 volts, 15 volts, etc. But usually, the VN for Laptop motherboards is about 19 volts. So let's assume that the VN is 19 volt. So the 19 volt will pass through this inductor, as you can see. So as I told you before, this inductor has as a purpose to increase the current and then pass through the ceramic capacitors. Usually, ceramic capacitors are connected in one side to the power rail, as you can see. VN on 19 volt power rail and in the other side to the ground. That's why you should never get a shorted co capacitor. If you test or you check any ceramic capacitor in the motherboard and you get a short or a low resistance or a continuity or a buzzer means in that circuit there is a short circuit. Maybe it can be the capacitors itself, it can be the IC, it can be the chemical capacitor, and so on. Okay, so the 19 volt will pass through this inductor and then will pass through these capacitors. This is basically filtering capacitors. Here we have the value for each capacitor. Here we have 0 0.1 microfarad, 25 volts. 4.7 microfarad, 25 volts, 4.7 as you can see, and for this one we have 220 P means P 
picofarad or or 2200 picofarad 50 volts so this is the reference for each capacitor we have pc80 pc83 and so on in the motherboard if you want to check this capacitor you should look for this reference pc80 in the motherboard okay so the 19 volt will pass through this inductor through these capacitors and then goes to this ic so this is the first input basically vn means the voltage input the input voltage so this is basically the working voltage without this voltage this ic cannot be operated and then we have here the power good this p good means the power good so basically this is an enable signal this signal tells to this ic that all powers in the circuit and around the circuit are good you can proceed to the next step if there is a problem in the power good the ic cannot continue working so this is basically the second input so the vn a very important input and the power good and here we have enable ldo this is enable signal this and this are enable signals basically these signals as you can see are coming from the sio or the super input output because the sio in the motherboard or the super io is the ic the first responsible for the whole power in the motherboard okay so the sio controls all control ic's in the motherboard so enable always enable signals comes from the super io okay and here of course we have the boost we have the vcc plus 5 volt we have the v out but the important inputs are v in power good and enable signals okay for this basically for this two pins we have this mark here means no connection as you can see nc means no connection so after receiving the 19 volt and all these enable signals so the ic then can generate the, this three volts can generate three volts and three volt will pass through this inductor the current will be increased and this is a filtering capacitor and then we will get here plus three volt is five so you can check this three volt here never check three volt here in the ic pinout because if you try to test or to check whether you have three volt here you can make a short circuit in this ic no go always to the inductor and take a measurement or to the pad to the test point if you understand just the working principle of how to read laptop schematics you can read any schematic why because the working principle and the steps are standard the same tanks